Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with my LEGO custom YouTube play button. For those that don't know what the YouTube play button is, it is a hanging play button that comes in like a frame and everything from YouTube once you reach, there's two levels, the silver play button and the gold play button. The gold play button is when you reach 1 million subscribers and the silver play button is when you reach 100,000 subscribers. My dilemma was that I really wanted one of these play buttons, but I'm still a couple subscribers away from having a hundred thousand subscribers. So I built my own. My YouTube play button is 100% Lego elements. So here is the whole play button. The play button has is surrounded by black bricks making up the frame and the background's yellow to represent my Brick Lover 18 yellow color. The yellow part is made of one by whatever bricks and the black part is made of two by whatever to make it really look like it has a frame around it. Down here at the very bottom, I have my username, BrickLover18, all spelt out, and underneath I have 2,500 subs. Despite having 2,600 subs, as of right now, 26 and something, I'm going to try, I think, I haven't decided yet, but I might just round it to intervals, or I might actually keep it, like if I get 27,000, 27, not 27,000, 2,700 subscribers, I'll change it to 2,700. And if I get 28, I'll change it, or should I just keep it at the 25 until I make it to 3,000 subscribers? Let me know down in the comments below. Up above here, we have the YouTube Play logo. This Play logo is actually made of multiple different layers of LEGO elements. Here's the little arrow. It is actually made of 1 by 3 slope pieces, and that is really cool. I originally started to do bricks, but the slope just wasn't really that good. So then I changed to 1 by 2 slopes, and the slope just wasn't slopey enough, like it was kind of blocky, so as soon as I switched to 1x3, it just looked perfect. And here's the rest of the part of the YouTube logo play button. I have slopes down each side, inverted slopes, just to give it the more rounded feel, but not too rounded because I didn't want to get that. And this project idea actually came out when I just wanted to make the YouTube logo. I just wanted to do this, and then I made it, and it looked really cool. I'm like, hey, I need a play button. And as I previously mentioned, there's many different layers to this, just because I wanted it to stick out and be 3D and not just all be like one flat piece of brickwork, I wanted it to be just amazing. Another thing I did for this to be as three-dimensional as possible is I made my Brick Lover 18 and my 2,500 subs stuck out. It's on a plate and then tiles and then there's more plates and then all my Brick Lover 18 and my letter tiles go on top of that. Here's what the YouTube play button looks like from another angle. And here's the really unattractive back of the play button. In order to use as little bricks as possible, I just wanted, I didn't want to use up all my bricks on this piece just because it'll be hanging on the wall and I'll never see it. So to use as little bricks as possible, I cut back on some areas. As you can see, there's some holes. And then up here, to, I have a lot of green bricks, but I was running into some of these other colors. I use the green bricks and this part is actually where the nail goes so I can hang this on my wall. Thanks for watching this sort of mock tour of my YouTube play button. I am really happy with this mock. I'm really happy the way it turned out. It didn't take that long to build. A couple hours, absolute tops, and I changed a lot of things. I really like the 3D-ness to it, just so it's not so blocky. I'm really impressed with the way this mock turned out. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of this mock, and also don't forget to answer the question I asked you about. Should I change this at every level of subscriber, like 2600, 27, or should I just change it when I reach a milestone, like 3000, 3500, and so on and so forth. Thank you everybody for watching, I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to check out my unboxing of this mock in the link in the cards right there, as well as in the description. If you like this LEGO related video, check out my YouTube channel where it is all LEGO all the time. It is BrickLover18 and BrickLover18.com. You can click on the subscribe annotation on the screen now for all LEGO all the time. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this LEGO related video. Stay tuned for more LEGO related videos here on BrickLover18. Have a great day.